The Industrial Emission Directive sets the conditions for industrial sites to operate. Based on this, permits are granted. The current directive identifies ranges of emission levels that industrial sites have to respect, and also identifies other non-binding targets for environmental performance levels, like water, energy, materials, and waste. In 2022, a new Industrial Emissions Directive proposal was presented. The changes? Industries have to operate at the strictest emissions levels, leaving technical feasibility to national authorities. And the targets for environmental performance levels become binding. But it's technically very difficult to keep all parameters low at the same time, so a trade-off is needed. Let's take a look at what happens on a site. To reach the strictest emission levels, we need to add new systems to the industrial site. But those systems require more materials, more energy, which also results in more waste. So while the emissions may have been reduced, it leads to a greater impact on water, waste, energy and materials. This is where the trade-off is needed. How can we solve this? Keeping the ranges of emission levels means the national authority can make decisions that support the best overall environmental impact while taking into account technical and economic feasibility. And permitting authorities also need guidance to know which area to prioritise. So the IED keeps improving emissions and environmental performance levels at the same time.